I'm gonna clapboard myself anyways. What's up guys, Ryan Walker here again with Phoenix Studios and MyPhoenix.com and today we're talking about travel mats and Final Cut Pro and uh, why they benefit us and what they do. What I'm going to build in After Effects real quick is something with transparency. So for example, um, a lower third graphic that you can use with your footage. So here we are, here's a clip from the, one of the cyclocross events I just got done filming. and. Um, Let's just drop a Phoenix logo in here and let's animate this and make it a uh, lower third like we're going to put this rider's name over the title of it. So first off, a little too large. Bring down the scale. And I'm just going to make this lower third similar to what is in the beginning of the tutorials here. Maybe scale up a little bit more. As long as the main text is in the title safer, we're good to go. And I'm going to make this a 3D layer just so we can rotate on the Y here. Set a keyframe, go up two seconds, and let's have one full rotation in two seconds. So there we go. Now I want this to stretch out the whole timeline. So real simple expression, I'll click the stopwatch there and type loop out and then open and close bracket. Now, that, that, that expression is going to keep our animation going the whole time. So let's say this goes for 20 seconds. And we're just going to trim the comp right there. Um, instead of just having it like this, maybe have, I'm going to have it pop on. So what I'm doing is I'm going to I'm going to move our expression keyframes right here over just a little bit. And let's say, let's say there's 10 keyframes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 15 frame transition, uh, just with the scale coming up and on. So I'm just going to put a keyframe there, go up 5 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make this a little bit larger in the scale, go home, and make it zero. So now when the scale's up, it's going to scale up, have a little bit of a bounce back in. And I want the rotation to start right there. So that is, that is good to go. Add motion blur for the graphic, we don't really need it for the footage. And now I'm just pasting in red lines I use for the lower third that's similar to uh, beginning of the tutorial. I'm just going to move those over. Let's make it a little bit larger here. All right, so here is our lower third really quick. Something with something with transparency that moves and it's going for at least 20 seconds. All right, so we have that comp. I'm gonna delete our footage because all we need is the lower third. And what I'm gonna do, let's, let's name this comp this is the lower third bug. All right, so here's our lower third bug. I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm going to say this is lower third mat. Open up that comp, and it's the same thing. And there, there's a few different ways to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new adjustment layer. I'm going to add a fill to it. I'm going to make that fill white. So now, here's our animation coming on. And it's just a pure white and black version of our lower third. And what we're going to do in Final Cut Pro is to tell it to use the black to key out and reference the white to keep everything opaque. So just render both these out. And these are both rendering out Apple ProRes with no transparency. All right, both versions uh, rendered out. So we have the uh, we have the actual bug and the pure white mat. Let's move over into Final Cut. So here we are in Final Cut. I'm going to bring in that footage clip that we had just for reference. Drag into the sequence here. Do the same shot. Let me just so you can see this. I have the bug and the mat. That's not that's not too 
too much to upload, let's say if you're giving it to a client on FTP and so forth. All right, so here we have our bug, which I'm gonna throw right there. And of course, you know, it's not transparent. And here is our bug mat, the pure white version. All I'm gonna do is throw it underneath. I'm gonna tell the, the actual graphic Go to composite mode and say travel mat luma because that's what we want to get rid of. And there we go, we have our transparent lower third in Final Cut Pro. And this could be a wipe or an intro to a graphic or anything, but this is a good way to cut down render time and also upload times to, let's say, a client's FTP if you're on a deadline crunch. So um, that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them at Facebook or at the homepage of the website, myphoenix.com. And till next time.